The Egyptian government's ban on the Muslim Brotherhood is an important development in Egypt's recent political crisis. There are three things one needs to know to understand how this fits into the overall political process that's unfolding in that country. First, the ban on the Brotherhood was not unexpected. Everything that the Egyptian government has done since the July 3, 2013 coup has led to this moment. As an aside, it's important to recognize that What's happened in Egypt is not unprecedented. During the 1990s, when the Egyptian government was battling a low-level insurgency of Islamist extremists, the government sought to tie the Muslim Brotherhood to these groups and labeled it a terrorist organization. The second important fact that one needs to understand about the ban on the Muslim Brotherhood is that it's unlikely to uproot and destroy the organization. The Muslim Brotherhood has deep roots in Egyptian society. It has been around for more than 80 years, and despite the pressure on it, despite the government's crackdown, it continues to be a prestigious organization with a core constituency that's willing to demonstrate and delegitimize the Egyptian political process in order to advance its political agenda. And third, despite the fact that the ban on the Brotherhood puts the United States in an awkward political position, especially given the Obama administration's position about uh, and support for a democratic transition in Egypt. It's clear from uh, the available evidence of the course of the last three years that the Obama administration will accommodate itself to whoever rules Egypt going forward. Whether there's a ban on the Muslim Brotherhood, whether the Muslim Brotherhood is considered a terrorist organization, even though the Obama administration worked with the Muslim Brotherhood while Mohamed Morsi was the president, the United States is unable to drive political events in Egypt. And there is no way in which Washington can punish the Egyptian government for banning the Brotherhood.